Well, what's going on everyone out there in the internet land, DIYers? And today, I wasn't gonna do this because there's a whole bunch of videos on this, but I'm gonna go a little more depth in mine. And that's how to cold start a carburetor because there is definitely a wrong way and there is a right way. I have since recently changed the way I do it. It's probably a little more better to do it this way. So if you wanna know how not to flood your motor on startup if you have a carburetor, and I know, fuel injection, it's got your little daddy black box that'll hold your hand so that way you don't flood your motor. But this is for you know guys like me who don't really mind carburetors and you are the ECU, you are the tuner all the time. So it kind of gives you a little insight into what's gonna go on when you cold start your motor for a carburetor and that you don't flood it. So you wanna know how? Watch this video. So first of all, what do you think of my most ugly creation? But it's usable, let me show you what it does. So when I'm over here working on stuff and I wanna throw stuff like this in there, you know, I have a spot to put my tools. I can pull the plugs out, put them right there. This is very, very thin sheet metal and the only way I could figure out how to weld it was just to go tack, 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 tack. It works fine. So let's just go ahead and get this guy out of the way because I'm going to pull the filter off you're gonna be look down the throat this carburetor. Got my GoPro right there. So you can see exactly what's going on there and when I'm inside starting it, what's going on in there. And if you're wondering how cold it is today, let's just say that it's pretty darn cold. Okay, so of course the breather is off. And the reason why is because if you've never messed with the carburetor before, there's a couple of things you gotta understand about a carburetor before you go to starting it. A lot of guys, you'll see them, they'll just continuously, continuously pump the throttle. And what happens is, is let's watch these squirters. So you keep on, if you keep on pumping the, the throttle, watch that squirter right there. See how fuel's coming out? I'm not gonna do it a bunch of times, but when you keep on pumping that, you know, trying to get it started, all you're doing is just throwing a mass amount of fuel into the intake and you end up flooding it. And you're like, why does it start? Carburetor is a piece of crap. Well, that's just because you don't know what you're doing. So today, like I said before, we're teaching you that. Got the GoPro right here so you can see exactly what will be going on. Let's go ahead and turn it on real quick. And as you can see right there, I will have it directly down on the motor so you can see what's happening. So I'm gonna let my battery charge because it's pretty much dead. And this thing is completely ice cold, Whew. this is gonna be a hard cold start, but I might as well give you guys an extreme to show you how to do it correctly. All right, so hopefully the battery is charged enough to start this pig. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Good enough. I'm gonna unplug the charger, where are my keys? Okay, <laughs> okay, look at this. Okay, so I did a video on these, me and Henry. We won't be needing this. <laughs> Henry! Sign all of my I got your phone! Good luck calling anyone! <laughs> what in the A little while back, not too long ago, and I had the blue one in the picture, and just give me a break guys, I know you're supposed to use uh, the yellow Teflon tape for anything that has to do with fuel. It was like one o'clock in the morning and sometimes I rush to get these videos out. So mistakes are gonna be made. And I know that, and I'm talking about this right here. You don't use any Teflon tape on AN fittings, but when you're using cheap China filters, sometimes you just gotta use Teflon tape on stuff you're not supposed to. So my next video will be the wrong right way to use Teflon tape. Anyways, back to the cold start. All right, so we're sitting in the cockpit of this big fat turd. I have 12.8 volts, but I also have no oil pressure. So first thing I'm gonna do is just prime the motor until we have oil pressure. All right, so now we got oil pressure. 
So the next thing we got to do is start the hummingbird feeder, as Joe would say it. What the hell is that? That's my electric evac pump. This, this is the poor man's crankcase uh, evac. You got like a hummingbird feeder in there. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a it's a smog pump off of like a Camaro and those those other vehicles. The ignition is on. Got my hummingbird feeder going. Not gonna pump the gas. I'm going to turn the motor over. Now I'm gonna pump the gas. Let's wait for this guy right here, see? All I'm doing is keeping it running. You don't want to go over 2,000 RPM. At this point, you just want to keep the motor running. Let's give the wide band a second to heat up, and it'll give us a reading. As you can see, I have to stall this thing once. You don't want to exceed 2,000. A good thing about this is it keeps fuel going. All the oil, everything, sloshing onto your pistons and helps lubricate it. So now we have our air fuel ratio, and you can see, as long as I keep the RPMs up with my foot, I'll keep it in a happy zone. So I'm gonna slowly let off the throttle. See how the air fuel is going down now? Slowly let off. It's a cold start. I'm just gonna slightly tap it whenever it gets slow. The trick is, is not to get your air fuel way over here where it's super fat. That'll be a bad day. And like that, as you can see, I have cold started this chokeless LT1 carbureted S10. It's easy. Sounds good. All right, let me get back in this turd. Still pretty cold, but as you can see, the air fuel is still right around 14 idle. See, one of the problems a lot of you guys have is that you will keep on increasing the idle air fuel for these guys at cold and then when you drive around it's sitting there being stupid fat at lights and you plug the motor all right so at least it's come off from 100 real quick let's just do a little clearing her throat So now it's warm enough to give it a good goose. Let's give her a goose. That's right. Let's give her a goose. Alright, before I kill myself with fumes in the garage, let me go ahead and shut this thing off. My eyes are starting to burn. And there we go. That be your cold start. And now she is not cold. Some of you guys are wondering where my hillbilly mountain water went. While we're here, we might as well fix this. Tighten her on up because she's walking all over the place, wasn't she? Go in your home. There we go. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. And uh, you guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Whatever. Just watch my videos, man. 
I got more coming. See you guys later.